Control 229. 229. We're going to be stopping here in the parking lot of Ryan's, North Eisenhower. Maybe. Sir, have a seat in your vehicle. I'll be up to speak to you. I'm pulling you over. Have a seat in your vehicle. I'll be up to speak to you. Did you not see the lights behind you, sir? Have a seat in your vehicle, sir. I'm telling you to sit in your vehicle. Do it now. Cell phone while driving, and I've issued you a citation for that, okay? Here's your information back. I've also cited you for not produ producing proof of insurance. I'm giving you a court date of the 25th of July. If you choose, you can contest it on that date. I need your signature here by the exit. Your name? My name is Corporal McCormick. My badge number is 229. And my immediate supervisor is Lieutenant McPeak. Beckley City Police Department. Lieutenant McPeak. McPeak. P-E-A-K? Mm-hmm. Did you call him to the younger person? If you would like to speak to him, he's at the police department. Did you call him to the younger Sign your citation, sir. Bottom right. By the X. Talking on the phone, sir, is that what you said? Yes, sir. Okay, that is illegal, and that's why I stopped you. No, it's legal to talk on the phone. No, sir, it's talk. not. State of West Virginia, it's illegal. It's if you'd like to speak to him, you'll need to go to the police department. Have a good day, sir. Hi, I'm Jesse with 59 News here locally in Beckley. Are you just driving by? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So you're from Virginia. I was from Virginia as well. Um, did you just not know the law here? Well, I knew the law in Virginia is you can't text and drive. Mm -hmm. But I was uh, talking on my cell phone. That is correct. Right, yeah. It's brand new, so you can't talk on the cell phone. So it caught you by surprise? Oh, that did. But, I mean, uh, in Virginia, you can still talk on the phone. Right. You just can't text. Mm -hmm. But I was not texting. I knew not to text. I just didn't know that you couldn't talk. Yeah. And he has been very rude. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to go file a complaint with this Lieutenant McPeak. Um, uh, and I think he's wrong. She's going to got his uh, officer down here while the situation is still right here and fresh in everyone's mind. And you're the witnesses to the fact that he was very rude and inconsiderate uh, or anything else. Now, after everybody's done left the scene, gone, you're not going to be able to get qualified. And everybody's going to have to take my word for it. So. What I need from you and you is y'all's names. Of what? Your names. So when I go file a complaint, I have witnesses to the fact that that officer was very rude. Okay, I didn't see him being rude. Did you not hear him? Were you him? in the vehicle? Yes. Okay, and you did not hear him screaming and hollering? He asked you not to get out of the car. I was already out of the vehicle back there, standing back there when he told me and screamed at me and told me to get back in the vehicle for his own safety. He didn't know if you were carrying a gun or not. Well, it doesn't make any difference if I carry a concealed weapon. That's my privilege. Okay, he's protecting his life. That's his privilege. A true, but he don't have to scream and holler, and that is different. 
I've been in the military and I've had people around me carrying guns and everything else before in my life. And there's no problem with that. When people get rude, and he got red in the face from hollering at me, that is very rude and very inconsiderate of any police officer to scream and holler like that at people. Now, I need your name. No, you don't, because he wasn't being rude, in my opinion. I heard what him, news company are you with? I heard him say it What twice. news company are you with? I don't have to tell you that. Then you turn the camera off, and you do not video none of this, nor do you put any of it on the news or anything. I am not giving you any permission from me to use anything that's on that camera. Do you understand? You want a public